With Ember, they have a lot more ways of making plays. They have other ways of itemizing and and yeah. Um, I would okay. have liked to see that ban instead. But the Batrider ban, I'm very I'm a very big fan of here. I think that was a great ban. Uh, but I would have taken out the boom Ember instead of Viper. But here we are. So at least for maybe maybe it's because like this is how you ensure that your SF like can't oh, get ran. Maybe this is the top. Oh, I think they're gonna get first bloody by the looks of it. Tug goes down. The three of them strike. So if they can get something in return, they can. They'll take down Tofu. Clean trade between the two. You're not really going to see anything crazy between these heroes. So top lane. Uh, Tofu out of position a bit. Cool guys are able to kill him off. So. It just it seems like they're just putting an SF in a really dangerous position. But I guess Thug is as well. I mean, again, they're going to try and go in onto Thug. Thug. This time around, he's got the fairy fire. So is Dracho. Both. Cores end up going now, but but Dracho has no TP, so like he just TP'd in. Now oh, he's he dead, did, didn't he? So th that's that's really bad for Tickles. See, cool guys. They might actually get uh, another one out. This looks to Celery. Okay, he's got the Leech Seed here. This actually going to be DNZ that, that will lose his life here. Fair fire won't save him. The Magic missile set up onto Omar. Thug is back in action. In fact, with a turnaround, they're going to be able to set up a kill for Thug. He's straight back to the lane and he picks up a kill. Chasing down this poor old hoodwink in the trees is Omar. He's out. I don't see if they can do more. They're going to go for Thug as Boom has turned up. TP's coming in as well from Cool Guys. Going to drop the coil down onto Boom. And with DNZ's lockdown of the ice path into the silence of Noob, they'll have the kill. Arena's out as well from Funnic. Cool Guys, they turn up in their numbers. This is just a top lane battle, this entire game. Like, none of the other lanes <laughs> yeah, have mattered. It really has. Now, bottom lane boring, mid lane boring, top lane. It's where the action is. Wow. My goodness, with a dream call like that, it certainly is where the action is. They come out with a hit and put the Ravage. But this is not going to be a Ravage that they could do anything off the back of Team Tickles. They've got to run. As Ace, caught by the trap of Thug. DNZ lays down the ice path onto Tofu. Ace is going to be run down by Noob and Thug. The tight end of the full Tofu as well. Boom's able to jump back in to get DNZ. So you can find Omar as well with a slight fist and a remnant alley. He will make the trade. Lances. It's been a weird game. It's been a weird game so far. Let's see Funny. He's poking at the tide, but Ace does have the Ravage. Let's see if they can force it out of him. He is going to pop it onto the four. Is it going to be enough to allow Tofu and him to get out, though? That's the question. It doesn't look like it. Dream Coil snaps. And Ravage. Put to waste there, as cool guys will still take the two kills. Yeah, constant. And that, to me, seems like something easier to play around in a carry position. There we go. I'm just going to come out, Ace. So drop the Ravage to lock down Thug. Tofu with the Magic Missile. Thug in a lot of trouble here. As that is Thug gone, they weren't able to do anything around the arena of Funic. The rest of cool guys having to bail out of there as soon as that Ravage came out and Thug was completely locked out. Back in a second, Tofu is maybe looking for a swap setup. He's, uh, he's heading straight in on this. He's going to die for that. My boy. Pretty aggressive there from Tofu. Coil's going to come out, but he still has the Aegis and the BKB. Going to turn, start confidently trading back with Noob. I haven't even been able to bring him down the once quite yet. Duraccio, he's still alive. That Aegis or BKB not been put to test yet. Finally, he'll fall as the Aegis is taken out of him. He still has the BKB. They'll lock him down straight away with an ice path, but nothing else to throw out his way as they have to respect this SF and his BKB potential. With Ravage, they have a lead. They have this SF who feels like he can just two-shot people. Yeah, yeah they're going mean, to smoke. Just, they, they know how strong they are right now, Team Tickles. No TA BKB, just go. You know, the Mars BKB doesn't matter as much. He's going to have to use it here. I mean, funny. Yeah, he's he's got to get out. I'm going to use the, the hold here. He'll respond with the arena. See if that's enough to save him. Ah, they've got him with the slight chains. As this will be a dead Mars, there's no saving Funnick. Funnick out for 50, and he's such a crucial part here. The S half. They've got, they've got to burst, Dracha. Somehow. They have to somehow do it. And they're going to try, but the BKB is out immediately. Dracho responds straight away. Funny good with his own BKB. He will try and stand his ground against this SF, but this is where SF's in his element. Funny's having to back off. Dracho just pummeling into him. They'll lock him down with the overgrowth. BKB popped by Thug. He'll turn, try and punch into Ace, but the Ravage is up perfectly timed as Thug's BKB comes to an end. Ace tickles him with the Ravage. Two dead on the side of Cool Guys. Dracho ready to chase the rest of them down back to their base. The buybacks will come out here, but Thug's out for a minute. Well, guys, they it's just so hard for them to do anything against this Team Tickles. 
Yeah, and Tickles can force the issue too because of the SF uh, talent for the aura to hit buildings. It's such a nice timing for SF. You farm up these items. I mean, they're in. They know Thug's not got a BKB for 20 seconds still. It's on cooldown. Thug will try and turn. He's been disarmed. He'll hide in the meld, but he's taken out by Duraccio. Funny tries to jump over, but it's all over with Thug now for 80 seconds. No buyback. GG is called. Probably. Um, it's. Uh... I think a lot of the problems that I see here, yeah, there's okay. the front line with stun that starts the fight, sure. right? So when you look at the first three heroes from Cool Guys, I think this is where you effectively, if you pick three heroes like this together. Yeah. If you ever just want to have some chill time in a pub, just go play some support Weaver, get some deep wards down behind the tower and just kill Curries. I mean, you might die, you probably will die actually if you've never done it before and you're following my advice. The safe lane is that the offlaner always builds this uh, Helm of Ironwell, and so they yeah. don't need the regen that you need from the courier. <laughs> so it's like you need your courier, and they don't. Oh, Tofu twice in a row here, man. Yeah, he's just. Dom heroes tend to be a lot stronger once they pick that item up versus Vanguard heroes just because it's been nerfed so much. But it's still a strong timing. Centaur's borderline unkillable. We'll see top lane Celery. He's come up for a bit of action, and <laughs> it's going to be enough to help set up for the kill on the Hoopwing. Coma taken out. So coming up here, just dealing with the catapult is is definitely a, a play. Oh, they will be able to get in onto Jurassia there. Good read of the fact that a lot of focus from Team Tickles is top. They'll punish that. Take out the carry. Still want to poke at this noob. Does have Sonic Wave. If he wants to jump in for the kill. He'll have it, and he does. In he goes. Lovely Sonic Wave as well. Pushing back the two of them. See Omar try and chase down Ace, have they got anything else to you know, catch the Beastmaster? They do, Omar with the control. Team Tickles, they've got the four of them themselves. Still no sixes on the supports, DNZ's going to step up, they'll try and use the Stampede to get him out of there, but he's going to get caught in the combo, boom, DNZ will be taken out. Now, now. It's top lane noob. So he was hunting for some action, goes for the blink, but the bugs were out in time for Tofu, so they know exactly where he's ended up, noob. We'll get taken down there. Good hunt there from Team Tickles. Magi, because he's building into drums. If he had the robe in there instead, I think he dies there. A mid. Now I'm going to try and make an attempt here onto Funic. For everything they have down onto the Centaur, is it enough? It looks like it will be. They come out with a Nightmare to try and protect him. Funic's still alive, but finally falls. To oh, he's going to live! What? A clutch right. static storm there from Celery stops the Fiend's grip from DNZ. So Tofu's able to get the time lapse off. DNZ is now also going to get dragged back to his death. As Team Tickles, they'll take the two kills, they'll take the tower. Some uh, cool guys definitely like they're they're looking for this Luna timing. And Boom's found Thug. He needs backup Thug and he needs it now. They're going to get the glimpse back. Static storm into the roof. He's in a lot of trouble Thug. Boom's going to get knocked back by the Sonic Wave, but Thug, he'll be the one to fall. Boom's able to get away with the Ghost Ward. Does get by the Sharpshooter. Jump in from Funny with a Who Stomp. Takes out Boom. Now get the trade in one for one. DNZ slowly dines the bug. He's desperately trying to remove it from him, and he will manage to do so in time. So just the one for one. That move that Team Tickles do going pretty deep for. They're right up by the Tier 2 Tower. They just, there's no way for them to deal with his ult. Uh, at this point. Funic. He's going to try and start off the action. Jumps in with a Who Stomp. Stampy popped as well. Immediately, the damage for this Wraith King just tears Funic apart. He doesn't stand a chance whatsoever. Diaz is oh, dragged baby. back into a big old crit from Duraccio. This is a double kill for him. Soon to be more if they can control Omar. Zoma. He's desperately trying to run, but he's been found with the Wraith Fire Blast. They'll take him out as well. I really love how they're drafting and how they're playing. Uh, it means their timing is so strong. Remember, we all go off here onto Noob. Static Storm as well, following up. We see Duracho will be controlled with a Nightmare on the back lines for now, but they're very split up, cool guys. They'll come in with the Sharpshooter and the Fiend Script to take Duracho down the ones. Funny, trying to stampede away, but he's going to get dragged back into the Kinetic Field as Boom takes him out, pummeling into him from the side. They do lose Duracho. The cool guys were able to bring down the carry. Can they get anything more, though, cool guys, Noob? Jumping in, he's got his eyes on Ace, pushed back with the Sonic Wave, but Ace is actually going to end up back on the low ground in the river. Ace is fine, and Noob's got to run. Noob, he bought back for this. The Glimpse is there. Noob's going to get taken down a second time in this fight, so die back on the Quark. Kinetic Field catches Omar. I, they, they kill the Wraith King, but it costs them so much. They're looking for a backline. Dude, he's alone. <laughs> oh, they're wrapping. They're going to go. All right, three times. Can they do it? Well, at least the two times before. 
the rest of the team and Team Sickles can get there. That's once, but already the backups inbound have turned up. And they could only do it the once here before they start losing heroes left, right, and center. Phonic and DNZ taken down. They're also going to get more thug. I mean, plus the BKB. He's going to use the Eclipse as well and attempt to turn this around. But the BKB's up from Boom Roars there. Crit comes into play. As that'll be Thug down and out. Tips coming out the way of Thug as well. They're going to tap out. They okay, know. Okay, they're done. Yeah. I mean, they've seen this story before. They saw it last game.